Let's have a look at question 6 in this video. So we have all firms in a competitive industry that have the long run total cost by given by this function. Now what's going to be the long run equilibrium price? So we're going to use here our property of long run competition. We know that in the long run prices go down so much that the economic profit becomes zero for every company. So there's no incentive to switch to another industry. In other words, we're looking for an equilibrium price that's going to be on the lowest point of the long run average cost. So that's going to be the minimum of the long run average cost. So our first step is to find out the long run average cost. Now what is the long run average cost? That's the long run total cost spread over all the units of output, so spread over the quantity. We have the long run total cost, is given in our function over here. So we're going to use this one to divide by Q. It's going to be Q to the power 3 minus 10 Q squared plus 36 times Q divided by Q. Now we're going to divide by Q every term because we can do so. So Q to the power 3 divided by Q, that's just Q squared minus 10q squared divided by q, that's 10q, plus 36q divided by q, that's going to be 36. Now recall that we're looking for the minimum of the long run average cost. And if you recall, the long run average cost is a curve. So that's going to be the curve of the long run average cost. And we're looking on the minimum point, which graphically looks like that. It's over here. What happens over there is that the slope is equal to zero. What is the slope? That is the derivative of the long run average cost with respect to quantity must be equal to zero. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to take the long run average cost, which we found over here and differentiate this with respect to quantity, make it equal to zero. Now, what's that going to be? Let's write it over here. Q square <coughs> minus 10 Q plus 36 derivative with respect to quantity equals to zero. Q square derivative with respect to Q, that's just going to be 2 Q. So we have 2q minus 10q derivative with respect to q, that's just 10. 36 derivative with respect to q, that's just a constant derivative, which is 0. So 2q minus 10 equals to 0, meaning that the optimal quantity in the long run is going to be equal to 5 units. So we find out that the q is going to be 5. And now with this in mind, we can find out our equilibrium price. How do we do so? Well, we're going to use the following quantity that minimizes the long run average cost. Recall, because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the minimum on the long run average cost, which is going to coincide with our optimal price. So by substituting the uh, long run average cost minimizing quantity into the function, we're going to find out the price. So let's do so. We found out that the, that the quantity we need is going to be 5 units. If we substitute it over there, we are going to get 5 squared minus 10 times 5 plus 36. And as we said, this will give us what we're looking for, which is the long run equilibrium price. And that's equal to 25 minus 50 plus 36. If we work out the math, 25 minus 50 is minus 25 plus 36. That's going to be 11. So let's say $11 is going to be the long run equilibrium price. And we are done.